Hey YouTubers, uh, since I just learned how to do this today, I'm going to show you guys how to do it also. Uh, it's a blender, how to cut holes and dent your object in blender. So go ahead and un open your blender. If you don't have a blender and you're just watching this video, go download blender. It's a free 3D modeling program. It's really fun. Alright, so I have blender 2.62. All the other blenders should be just about the same because, I don't know. So... So uh, I get the block you want to cut holes through then. Right now I'm just gonna use this block. Now what you're gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys how to cut a cut a hole through it right now. So add a cylinder. Now, I'm going to get this cylinder on the side so I can get a straight hole through it, but you can just keep it sideways or whatever. So, to get it on the side, if you don't know how to do that, let me just show you. Minimize this. Alright, so, to get it on its side, you press this, this thing that looks like a square. And, it should say location, rotation, and scale. So, on rotation, this is the x-axis and the y-axis and the z-axis. So, if you can see right here, on the side of your screen should have a little chart saying, oh, on the side of your screen should have a little chart saying if the z-axis is blue, the y-axis is green, and the x-axis is red. So, we're going to tilt it sideways so it's flat straight. So we'll get the bottom one and put it on 90 degrees. This one's 90 degrees. And the top on 90 degrees. Yeah, there we go. Now pull the cylinder and just put it right inside the, the square right there. Now I'm going to make my cylinder bigger so I can get a complete through. I can get completely through the block. So I'm gonna change this little I'm gonna change this little thing here and make it two. So now it's super long. So since I'm just gonna cut straight through, I'm gonna scale it down to about 0.5. Do that to both of them so that they both uh, equal out the same size all around. Alright, so now what you're gonna do is select your square if you don't know how to do that you right click the square on your mouse. I don't know how to do it on the keyboard. I think it's just right click also. Um, now, since you selected the block, go to this little wrench that's up here in the corner. Then click add modifier. And you're gonna choose one over here that says Boolean. Now that you've selected that, on intersect, open that up and change it to different instead of intersect. After you've done that, click this little square and select the cylinder. So that'll just select the cylinder that's inside. And since it's different, it'll subtract out the cylinder. So now apply that, right click the cylinder, and just drag it up. And you should have a nice little hole straight through it. Now if you came here to dent the object, here's what I'll show you how to do it now. So let me delete this. If you don't know how to delete it, you press X on the keyboard while you selected the object. And after you press X, it says delete. Press OK. Alright, now that you've done that, and you want to dent your object, add... I'm going to add a sphere. So I'll take the sphere, and just to show you guys, I'm going to put the sphere in the corner, because that's that's the best place to show you how, you how it works. So go ahead and right click the, the square, the cube, and go back to this wrench. Add another modifier, also a boolean. Make it difference, and this time select sphere. Then go ahead and apply that, and move out your sphere. It's the same properties that the cutting the the uh, 
cylinder head. But instead of cutting straight through, you just made a little dent out of it. Alright, so that's my Blender tutorial. I'll probably be making more of those because I'm into Blender. Oh, and since you guys are here, since I'm making this video right now, I want to show you guys this map I've been working on for like all day. This is my this is my castle that I'm gonna have up for free download if you wanna just download it and look at it. I'm not gonna put it up right now, probably in a couple a couple days. But I really used a lot of that cutting like I just showed you how to do. And it helps me a lot. So you're gonna find out uses to cut really easily. There's a lot of them. So yeah, I'll put the link in the description in a couple days of where you should get this, or where you can download it to check it out. Alright, so that's it. Bye YouTube.